Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be memory planning and this is for the week of July 27th through August 2nd and I have a really, really pretty foiled kit from Sadie's Stickers today. This one is called Beach and as you can see, it's in a silver foil which I think complements this kit really nicely and on this page we have all of the full boxes. Here we have the half boxes, some appointment labels, quarter boxes, bill due stickers, sidebar trackers, and some bow checklists. This next page is foiled, and we've got some foiled headers at the top, some more half boxes and quarter boxes, um, these checklists, and a ton of like layering stickers. Um, we've got the hexagons, arrows, flags, etc. And the last page here is also foiled. We have, oh, I think it goes this way, the bottom washi down here. We have some date covers, um, some more quarter boxes, and then also these foiled quarter boxes on the side. So we've got tons of stickers to work with. I love that she includes so many boxes because I tend to use a lot of those in my planning. Um, so yeah, I think this kit will be really fun to work with. I'm super excited and let's just go ahead and jump right in. I was able to fit both pieces of the bottom washi in that bottom section of the recollections planner. That section is a little thinner compared to the Erin Condren, so I have had to trim the washi on a couple of occasions, but for this time, I didn't have to do that, which was nice. Then moving to my sidebar, I first placed down a blank box from Planner Just For You so that I didn't have to worry about whiting out the July header at the top. Then I placed down this full box for the top corner box. It's the one that says beach, and I just felt like that established establishes the theme of this spread. I then put down a foiled header with a habit tracker to track my working out, and then I used a quarter box with a Monday through Sunday box for my happy moments. At the bottom, I used an appointment label and the second Monday through Sunday box that came with the kit, and then just to close out that remaining space, I stacked two of the foiled headers on top of each other. I then go ahead and fill out my sidebar headers. Um, that silver foiled heart is from With Love Sticker Co. And I just got that sticker in my collection. It came in a sampler sheet and I thought it was super perfect for this week. I then move on to placing down all my date covers and I couldn't find any silver foil date dots that had the dates that I needed. And so I just had to write them in myself. On Monday, I first placed down a foiled header, then I used a quarter box and this pen sticker from Planning Like a Pro to mark that I worked on some lettering for the Planner Just For You shop. We are working on our new releases, and so I definitely had to um, create some new lettering on that morning. Then I used a hexagon from the kit with a planner sticker from Hey Soul Sticker, and I just want to clarify for you guys that the shop name is Hey Soul Sticker. I tend to say it really fast, so I have gotten some questions recently about what the actual shop name is. Um, so yeah, it's Hey Soul Sticker. Um, then underneath that, I used a quarter box. This pillow sticker, I believe, is from Happy Sherpa Papery, and I decided to add a little foil by using this little bow sticker from Planning Like a Pro to mark that I took a nap that afternoon. On the half box, I pulled in the silver foiled balloon sticker that is from Chic Blossom Prints. It was part of a freebie that I got, and I used that to mark participating in a surprise birthday flash mob, which was so fun. I've like always wanted to be in a flash mob, so I was really excited for this opportunity. It turned out to be super fun, and my friend was totally surprised. Um, he did not see it coming at all. Um, so yeah, it was definitely a success. Then I placed down a full box at the bottom, and then in the remaining space, I had placed down this um, laptop sticker that's from Right Brain Paper Co. And I used that to mark doing a Zoom chat with some of my friends. And then um, I used an appointment label with this edit script sticker from Randy.plans and also this bow paper clip sticker from Happy Sherpa Paper Weed to mark that I did some editing that night. Then moving on to Tuesday, Tuesday was my best friend's birthday, so I definitely wanted to mark that. I used a half box and this really cute fox and pip girl that I customized to look like her. And then I also pulled in some more silver hearts from With Love Sticker Co. to add a little more foil to that space. Underneath that, I used a three bow checklist to mark some things that I did, and I placed down a silver foiled shopping bag sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that. And then I placed down a full box underneath. I used a foiled header with a quarter box and this puzzle sticker from Planner Just For You to mark that I worked on my puzzle that day and then I did a workout afterwards. So to mark that, I pulled in this appointment label and this silver foiled workout sticker is from Right Brain Paper Co. 
At the very bottom, I used a TV icon from the Sparkly Studio to mark the show that we watched. Um, this week, we were watching Street Food Latin America, um, which is like the newest season of the Street Food series, and we just absolutely love it. We love like all food shows, so that is definitely up our alley. Then on Wednesday, I first placed down a full box at the very top. Then I used a foiled header and a flag from the kit to mark that I made some coffee at home that morning. I then used a silver foiled planner sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I responded to my YouTube comments and filmed a plan with me that day. And then I used a hexagon to mark that I worked on my puzzles again that afternoon. On the half box, I placed down this workout girl sticker from Tuli Plans to mark that I had done a full body workout. That workout sticker again is from Right Brain Paper Co. And then I used a quarter box with a silver bow from Planning Like a Pro to mark that we watched more of the street food show that night. I then did dishes at the end of the night, so I used an arrow sticker, and this really small dishes sticker is from Let's Plan It. Um, it was perfect to fit in that tiny space I had left at the bottom. On Thursday, I first placed down a foiled header, then I used a quarter box and the sleeping mask sticker from Happy Sherpa Paper Wee to mark that I had a pretty lazy morning on Thursday. I really didn't do much for most of this week, which was pretty nice after coming home from a long trip. Then I used a hexagon to mark our breakfast that morning. I don't usually mark my meals unless um, I go out to like a restaurant or something, but I will on occasion when I need to take up more space in the day. I then used another flag sticker from the kit to mark that I finished my puzzle that day and then I had to stop by the grocery store so I used a half box with this silver foiled grocery icon from Chic Blossom Prints. I placed down a full box at the very bottom um, and then above that I used a flag sticker with this utensil icon from Hey Soul Sticker to mark some meal prepping that I did that day and I'm not sure why but in the moment I really wanted to move that plus sign from the second row to the first row so I decided to white it out even though the white out doesn't match the paper. Um, looking back I really don't know what the big deal was but Anyways, I just noticed that. And um, then on the quarter box, I used a laptop sticker from Planning Like a Pro to mark that I had edited a plan with me that night. On Friday, I first placed down a quarter box and a drink sticker from Hey Soul Sticker to mark that I had another coffee that morning. Then I decided to start from the bottom so I knew how much space I had to mark everything I wanted. I first placed down a half box at the very bottom, then a foiled header to cover up the gray header on the planner. I then put down a full box on top of that and then a quarter box with this pool mochi from Mochi Kichi. I do end up moving it because I realized I had more room than I needed. And um, in that empty space, I used this shopping bag sticker from Chic Blossom Prints to mark that I had made and packed some meals that were going out to um, some homeless shelters up in LA. It's part of a volunteer program that I had signed up for. Um, it's called Homey Made Meals. And if anyone lives in the LA or surrounding areas and wants to volunteer, to either make meals or deliver meals to the homeless, um, please let me know. I think it's a really great organization and it definitely does a lot of good. Um, so yeah, I was really glad I got to put that together. And then um, in the quarter box, I used another workout sticker from Right Brain Paper Co. along with this dumbbell, which is from a shop that's now closed. I then replaced that mochi sticker towards the bottom of the day to mark that I had some pool time with a couple of my friends. The weather was really perfect, so we had a good time just hanging out and catching up. And then on the um, half box at the bottom, I pulled in this like foiled lace header from Honey Inked. That was a sampler sheet that Rachel from Gathered Plans had actually sent me as a little gift. And then I pulled in a TV sticker. I think that's from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark that we watched Beyonce's Black is King and it was so amazing. Um, I'm just constantly so impressed and so in awe of Beyonce. I mean, who isn't? But yeah, if you haven't seen it yet, that's on Disney Plus and I highly recommend it. Moving to Saturday, I first placed down a full box at the very top, then I used a foiled header and an appointment sticker to mark that I did a morning workout on Saturday. Um, then I went over to one of my friend's houses. She has a really, really nice pool in her backyard, so um, we got to hang out there for the day and play some pool volleyball, which was really fun, but I'm terrible at it because I'm like so not athletic. That pool day sticker is from Lexi Kylie Designs, and the silver foiled bow is from Planning Like a Pro. 
When I got home, I did a Zoom party with a group of my friends, and as part of it, we did a trivia contest and a scavenger hunt, which turned out to be so fun, especially as we were all quite intoxicated, and we were each just like running around our houses trying to find these different items. But anyways, then at the very bottom, I placed down a flag, and I just marked that I had some midnight snacks after the Zoom party because I was starving. On Sunday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom, and then I used a movie marquee on top of that. This one was in my leftover stash, and I thought the color matched the kit pretty well, so I decided to pull that in. Um, then I moved to the top and placed down a half box. This bed sticker is from Dizzy Dizzy Dreams. I used that sticker to mark being hungover, of course, and also having a lazy day. Um, then underneath that, I used a silver foiled utensil sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark the breakfast that my boyfriend made me, which was lovely because I definitely needed some food. Um, I then went and grabbed boba which I put on an appointment label and that boba sticker is from randy.plans. After getting boba I went to Costco to do some grocery shopping so I used a flag sticker from the kit and that grocery icon was from my leftover stash so I'm not sure which shop that's from. On the movie marquee, I put down this crying emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that we watched a show called Love on the Spectrum, which is on Netflix. And you guys, this is one of my favorite shows that I've watched recently. It's so sweet and just so heartfelt. It's basically a documentary about these young adults who have autism and are trying to find love and um, just explore the world of dating, which already is, you know, hard enough as is. But you guys have to watch this. I cannot recommend it enough. Like I said, it is just so sweet. I cried. I laughed. I just fell in love with everyone who was on the show and um, I think you guys will too. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. Um, now I'm just moving to my sidebar and tracking all my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners. And as usual, I go ahead and show you guys these stickers that I have left in this kit. And now I'm doing a Viv Wiggle to show you guys all the foiling that I got to pull into this spread. Um, I haven't used foils in two weeks and I honestly felt like I was going through a withdrawal like I was just itching to pull in foils. So I may or may not have gone overboard, but I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed as well. Um, please let me know if you guys have any questions about where any of the stickers came from or just anything else. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I just love how this turned out and I hope you guys did too. With that, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.